Kai and I'm 14 years old. Well, I came to the Ancestral Knowledge uh, homeschool naturalist class two years ago. One of my favorite things to do with the naturalist class was probably the games. One of the games we played was called Flash Flood and we'd be walking through the woods and the counselor would yell out Flash Flood and we'd have about five or ten seconds to get three feet off the ground in any means possible. We focused a lot on like just playing games a lot more than we do like um, sharpening our skills in this class so I am happy and like excited to learn more skills or sharpen the skills I already have but I would like to learn like how to do just a lot of other fire by friction techniques like so here's the hand hold this is the part I hold in my left hand to hold the spindle in place and the fireboard is where I it's where I create the coal so spindle I would put it like this and then I put this on top like this this bow right here and I wrap it around this and I just pull back and forth rotating this spindle and it will create like friction and a lot of dust down here and that will turn into a coal this and then I take tinder bundle and I put the coal in here and I blow and I can create a fire but this would be the first time I made a fire alone with a bow drill kit. Now I'm gonna try to like the teepee fire I built. So close. So close, dude. <laughs> it has a lot of friction. Keep going. Can you get a little faster? I think you, no. you have one. Yeah. I do. Uh -huh. Just tap it, hold it, and tap it a couple times. Yep, and then tip it backwards and pull it away. There you go. At first I didn't think it was gonna light when I stuck it under here. The TP build seemed a little weird to me, but um, it felt good. Uh, I felt like it had a lot of air space, but there wasn't a lot of stuff in the middle of it, so I definitely would have added more stuff down here to get more of a base fire.